Hi, Gemini. What's up, what's up, what's up, Gemini, 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 ah, 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 ah. What's up, it was good with y'all. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, you guys, you guys. Thank you so very much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, and your comments, if you do leave any. So, I'm going to be getting into your general love reading. This is not going to be for everybody. This is not going to resonate with everybody. So, do take what resonates with you and leave the rest for another Gemini. If I do talk too much, please let me know. I don't feel like I do. <laughs> you guys, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on. A-L-L. -L. Let's cut this deck. I already saged over your cards. Please do not get mad at me if I'm shuffling. I'm trying to make sure you get a good read, okay? What's coming towards Gemini? So we're going to get into this um, energy, you know, basically to see what you can expect. Who's coming towards you? Why they're coming towards you? We're going to find out what happened in the past and look into your energy. Okay, so take whatever resonates with you and read the rest for another Gemini justice. Are you calling for karmic justice or is there some legal issues emerging? You may have legal issues going on around you or there may be some coming up. But I feel like whatever this is, it's going to go in your favor. I do see balance being restored in your life here. If you don't have any legal issues, then I see someone wanting to reconcile with you. Justice, Libra energy. This person may have acted single in the past when they were with you. Nine of Pentacles. This person may have brought confusion and some sort of illusion where you were questioning yourself. Like if this person loves you or not. But I feel like this person wants commitment now with the Hierophant. Okay, they want commitment. You guys may be a little bit thrown off when they come around. You know, wanting this commitment from you. They want a passionate brand new beginning with you. If you hear the noise in the background or any music, I am so sorry. That's uh, that's that song uh, with Takeoff. <laughs> Rest in peace to Takeoff. Uh, and Quavo. All right. So you guys, yeah, they want a brand new passionate beginning with you. They want to have, uh, you know, passionate sex with you, okay? But I feel like this is someone that you've walked away from, Eight of Cups. I feel like this person may need to walk away from some people, places, or things before they come back towards you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this Eight of Cups showing up here, okay? I don't know if this is you who walked away from this person or if this person walked away. But I'm seeing you setting healthy boundaries here, okay? Because I feel like this person walked away feeling as though the grass was greener on the other side, you know, and that made you very defensive or showing up in the defense and being put in a position to stand up for yourself and set healthy boundaries here with the Seven of Wands. And also, you're being protected here. That is fire energy, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. This person is very needy. They cry a lot or you've just been very, very emotional about the situation here. Queen of Cups in the reverse. I feel like a lot of you are taking your cup of love back. Some of you don't even care about this person. Some of you do not love this person anymore or your feelings have changed, okay? Because I feel like this person may be an attention whore. But I do feel like they want success and victory with you. I also see you moving forward successfully and victoriously. Okay. Because I feel like this really puts you in a very emotional place right here. Okay. This person wants success and victory with you. And they're coming in to apologize to you with this knight of cups. I don't see any kings here. I just see a knight. So this person has some growing up to do. This person is very immature or could be just uh, has some immaturity here that they need to work on. Okay. Two of swords showing up. Yeah. This person is the type that's very indecisive. Can't make a decision. Can't make up their mind about anything. This person may have been torn between two relationships or two minds or two decisions I feel like um, when this person brings you this love offer and you may not see this coming some of you may block this person some of you if, if they're coming in being a charmer 
trying to persuade you, saying all the right things that you want to hear. I do feel like some of you may block them, or you may just be closed off and blocked off and ignoring them. Okay, let's see what else is coming in. Yeah, because they want a second chance here. So I feel like you are ignoring them, and they want a second chance here. Okay. I feel like they want to bring you some sort of an apology because I did see a page of cups at the bottom of the deck. But again, this person has some growing up to do. The magician, they're trying to perform some spell work to get you to give them a second chance. Or this person is trying to manifest you in your life. Could be using visualizations like your pictures or video or thinking about you a lot. However, I do feel like this person... They may be changing. I do see a change happening here. An unexpected change here. And I feel like they're going to put up a fight. Five of Wands here. I hate these ads. Oh my gosh. Or that could just be um, this person wanting to manifest an opportunity with you. And they hope this goes in their favor. With the Wheel of Fortune. They hope that this is going to go in their favor. Okay. Because I'm seeing that. They may feel like it's some sort of competition. Or you know. Um, they may put up a fight. This is somebody you may have argued with. They may have been. Um, you know a lot of disputes. Jealousy and envy. I feel like yeah. This may be a Taurus. Virgo or a Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles, they want longevity. They want something stable, solid, and committed with you. You may be married to this person. Or this person wants something more solid with you. Okay. I feel like this person was left out in the cold, abandoned, and neglected here. Okay. For some of you, this person may have been in the connection with you in terms of, um, as opposed to finances. Okay. Because they don't have any money here. Okay, and the Ace of Swords is clarity uh, about this situation here. Um, that's the truth. But I feel like uh, you guys, this person, you know, I feel like you broke up with them or ghosted them. Yeah, um, this Emperor came out in the reverse here. Okay, uh, damn. I wish it would come up right. Because that's somebody wanting to step up, wanting to take the lead, wanting to show you how mature they are, wanting to show you that they're a good fit for you. You know, wanting to show you that they change. But I feel like with this Emperor in Reverse right here, uh, I don't know. This person may have a lack of that. Like stepping up to show you that they've changed, that they're matured. I don't know, guys. I feel like one part of them wants to step up and the other part of them is not ready. Um, or they just want to step up and show you how much they've matured, how much they've grown, and how much they want to um, bring stability to the connection. I feel like they are um, con trying to control the situation here so that this can go in their favor. Uh, Emperor Aries energy. Yeah, this person may be all up in their head about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Or uh, this person may be in spiritual jail or in jail for real jail. Uh, or this person may be feeling stuck, trapped, or blocked in a situation that they don't want to be in. Okay, or they're just feeling stuck like they can't move but they can. It's just because you're guarded. You're showing up as very guarded. You have your guard up. You have your walls up. That's why. This could be the energy that's coming in towards you. This could be happening right now. Or this could be about to happen. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to make you happy. They know that you're the source of their happiness. For some of you... For some of you... Um, this person may be married. Okay, they may not have told you that with the moon showing up at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that they're in a connection already. But I feel like they want to reconnect with you. If they're not married, they just want something stable with you long term. They see you as their happily ever after. And this is something they may not have told you. They see you as their other half. They're in love with you. 
Two of Cups. Two of Cups, this person wants a relationship with you or they want to connect or reconnect with you. They want to move towards you or this is what they're going to do. Chariot. Cancer energy, yeah, because I feel like this person may have been in the house a lot. Just thinking, doing some introspection, doing some reflecting here in hermit mode. This person, you know, I feel like with this hermit Virgo energy, this person keeps a lot of their feelings and a lot of their emotions to themselves. But they want to know, or they may be questioning themselves, or well, this is you. Well, if we reconnect, what, what direction is this relationship going to move into? Okay, because I feel like you may have been doing some introspection or reflecting as well. Okay, this person may be in a different city from you, but I do see them planning this. This person wants to change for you. This person wants to change their ways, and I feel like you may have been waiting for this change or... You may have ended things with this person with the death card because you've been waiting for this person to love you and they don't know how to do relationships or connections. They don't know how to love. They're in this childlike energy or they were and that's because they were not enlightened. This person may have left you hanging. Um strung you along or left you on hold or left the connection on hold there may have been a third party situation okay but i just feel like they're stuck on you okay they're hurting and they're stuck on you and they are worried they have some worries and they're stressed out Four of Swords. They're stressed out. They've been thinking about bringing you this clarity. Coming to talk to you. They still want to work on this Eight of Pentacles. They still want a new start or a new beginning with you. This person may be at a distance from you. This person may be pregnant. You may be pregnant. Or I feel like... This was a cycle that's closed. It's closed out. Or well, this just, uh, this may be you closing out a cycle and starting a new cycle with this person. Or it could be without them. Take it how it resonates. Let's get some other messages. Okay, love messages. So I, I do mostly love readings. I'll do career readings too. I do 18 plus. That's it. I'll try something different in the future. So you guys are workaholics. You've been working a lot. Throwing yourselves into your work here. Okay, you're very committed to your work and I do see that. You pay attention to a lot of the detail. You may be working on a project or mastering your craft or something right here. But I, I feel like it's going to bring you in a lot of money with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you may be self-employed or you're getting a new job. That's going to bring in a lot of money. A large lump sum of money or just uh, an increase in your finances here, okay? Or you may be working on getting like a new job, a new home, a new car. You know, um, something more stable, something more solid. This person wants to work on things with you. They want to invite you out for dinner and a movie. Okay, they may want to take you out on a date here. Is what I'm seeing for some of you. Yeah, but they want a new start. They want a new beginning with you. That's all I'm saying. Mutual feelings. So they have feelings for you and they hope your feelings are the same. This person is willing to compromise with you. They have a lot of passion for you. This person is craving you, whether sexually or wanting to be in a connection with you. I feel like this person, they do want to spend some time with you. This may be sex though. But they're in regret. Your person feels guilty, remorseful. 
and they want to undo the damage. That's what the card says. Because I feel like this person, you know, you're tired of their mixed feelings. You're tired of the indecisive. You're tired of the conflicted feelings. And you're unsure of this relationship. You're unsure of this connection with this person. What else is coming through for Gemini? What else is coming through? This person is stalking you secretly. Some of you know it. Some of you don't. It says curious about you, not over you. This person is checking your social media, keeping a close eye on you, keeping tabs on you. They're not over you, so they still have feelings for you. And they're very curious about what it is that you're doing. This person sees themselves very protective over you. Or wanting to protect you in the connection. This person, they come in peace. That's what I'm seeing here. But I feel like you're setting healthy boundaries with this person or with anybody. It says no more enabling feeling used. You're setting healthy boundaries here. That's what I see. That's what I see. Okay. And I see an awakening happening with your person because you're setting up this healthy boundaries. I see uh, your, your person's heart space opening. They're allowing themselves to open up to you more. You know, they're wanting to express their emotions and their feelings to you more. And I am seeing this person going through an awakening here. Mm -hmm. I feel like with these secrets that we were talking about in the tarot, okay, I feel like there may have been a secret love or a secret admirer in the past. There may have been a third party situation. Your person may have put you in a love triangle. Okay. And this person, yes, they were being fake. They were being two-faced when they did that to you. Okay. This person put you through a lot of painful shit. A, a lot of painful love experiences. And I feel like you, feel, you, you saw this person and yourself as a power couple. Okay. And very abundant here. Okay. I do see abundance coming in for you. But I feel like your person uh, may put up a fight like I was telling you before. They may put up a fight because they see you in their future. They want to take it to the next level with you. This person wants to be with you. They choose you. I don't know why friendship is at the bottom of the deck. Um... Mm. This person is very jealous, okay? It says, want you to themselves, attachment. They have a fear of losing you, so they don't want to lose you, okay? But I feel like it may be someone here that your person is focused on. For some of you, not all of you, your person may be married. That's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? If your person is not married, they're not married, okay? But I feel like... This person either got you waiting, you know, or they come around and then they leave. Or they tell you they're going to call you later or they're going to see you later and they don't, you don't see them. Okay. They may have you waiting for their phone call, text, or may have you still holding on to hope. Maybe you haven't heard from this person. There's some, uh, there's a standstill just like with the hangman energy and there is some delays with them coming towards you because I feel like there is someone else here that they are focused on. This is somebody that you used to chase, but I feel like this person is going to chase you. They see you too as the twin flame. What else is coming in for Gemini? This person wants to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They want to express something to you. Getting something off of their chest here. Okay. This person is single or they may want to know if you're still single. Available currently. No partner. And open to dating. That's what the card says. So they want to know um, if you're still single. If you're seeing anyone. Or um, maybe this person is single. You know, I don't know. This is you that's single. But I feel like they want to come in and talk to you. You may not believe what they're saying here. It says surface level relationship. Plastic fake love messages. Yeah. You don't feel the love in this connection though. Okay. Your ex energy is showing up as cursed. 
It says string of bad relationships. This is a karmic that you were dealing with. This person may be sending you some evil eye energy. Okay. But I do see you guys healing or you will be healing. Or you're about to start healing. It says reevaluating needs. Self-love, self-care. You guys are moving forward and pouring that love into yourself. And you saying, fuck you. And you're moving on. And you're moving forward. One more. Yeah, you're cleaning shit up. You're cleaning up your life here. Making healthy choices. You're cutting out. That's confirmation. If you heard that notification. You're cutting out any negativity from your life here. Okay? You may be moving. Throwing stuff away you don't need. Throwing clothes away you don't wear. You know, stuff like that. You may be hiring a maid. Or you may be cleaning up around the house. Okay? But I feel like, yeah, there's a... There's a cut through here. It says emotional and mental clarity. Secrets come to light. There's a breakthrough. I feel like there's some clarity coming through. Or you're receiving this clarity. I feel like the secrets are coming to light. About this person's energy. Very hot. Very cold. Sending mixed signals. Very inconsistent. Like I told you. There may be someone else here. That's involved here. But they feel like they can lure you in. Anytime. They feel like they can come and go at any time that they please. That's how they feel. They feel like um, you'll just come back to them. You'll be back. Or like they can lure you back in. Like you won't be gone that long. Wow. We're going to get some messages and see what's on this person's mind. What they would like to say to you. And your energy as well. I'm also seeing an inheritance for some of you. You've been waiting on clarity about this money, about this job, about this um, something right here. You may have taken a break or taken some time off. Or you may have taken a day off from work. You may have called in sick and said, look, I'm not coming in. But really, you, you were sick. Maybe you just wanted to chill and eat some chicken wings and watch Martin. And drink some Kool-Aid. Okay, or something like that. But I feel like you guys have a lot on your mind about this work, about this money that you're trying to build for yourself or that you're working on or a project that you're working on or a self-employment position that you're working on, okay? You may have some worries about that, but I do see a promotion coming in or a position coming in and increasing your finances. I feel like it will be very lucrative for you, okay? Let's see what else is coming in. What messages... Are coming through towards Gemini from this person. What does this person want to say to Gemini? I love you guys so much. Your body language says so much. We don't share the same values. So you and this person don't look at things the same. I feel the sexual tension. That's what they're saying. This person has trouble with intimacy. You never used to look at your person in that way that you look that you see them now. You're waiting for an apology. They lie to you. This person feels like you two are more alike than they want to admit. So they feel like you two are mirroring each other. I know more than you think. So you're very intuitive and you know more than this person thinks that you know. I want to start over. This is what this person wants to say. I still feel the pain. Some of you are still hurt by what this person did. I love myself enough to walk away. That is your energy. Because you know you and this person are not right for each other. And it's not working out. But they want this to work out. Okay. What did you want from me? That might be their words towards you. You inspire me. I am not coming back. Okay, that is your energy. And leaving you hurt them too. Leaving 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 your person hurt you as well. You didn't want to do it, but it was necessary. This person pretended they didn't care when they were in a connection with you because they don't know how to do connections. They don't know how to love. But they can't get enough of you. This may be a very sexual energy. They don't know how to let you go. One more. And they hope they'll see you again sometime. So they hope that, you know, you'll invite them out or they'll see you again sometime, somewhere in, in the area or, you know, meet up or whatever, partner up or, you know, whatever. 
So this is your reading. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Turn your post notifications on ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye, Gemini. I'll see y'all in the next reading.